Hey guys and happy Sunday. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to show you how I remove my makeup and just my simple skincare that I do every evening. Um, sometimes of course I do get a little lazy and sleep on my makeup but I really really try to take my makeup off every night. <laughs> sometimes I just crash instead. So we went to church this morning and it was such a good message and I laid the baby down. Mark is out with his son doing manly stuff and riding the four-wheeler, being outside. So I'm going to take this time to get this video done for you guys and show you what I use. So if you would love to see this video, just keep watching. Okay, so first off, I do want to let you guys know some of the, two of the products that I'm using, I do have a website for. So it is a direct sales company, but to me... Direct sales is direct sales. Whether it's a certain brand name or something from Sephora, I'm telling you about it because I enjoy it. So just a heads up on that, I'm not pushing products on anybody, l letting you know what I use and that's it. So you can take it or leave it, do what you want, but I'm going to leave the links below for everything. Um, I do use a mix of products because I, no matter what I sell or talk about or anything I can never be committed to just one brand. I love products. I'm a brand person. Um, I love trying new things so you're gonna always see a mix of different things. So the reason I do love this skincare line is because I can mix other products with it and it doesn't harm my skin or make my skin so sensitive that I can't use anything else. I have used products like that in the past and it's just awful because I like to switch it up so much. So, um, let's get started. Okay, so I have a, I'm sure you're wondering, like, why are you not in your bathroom if you're going to take your makeup off? Well, I have a damp washcloth right here, and I'm just going to show you how simple it is. Even on your most tired evenings, if you wanted to take it off by the bed, you could totally do that too. So, so later on, I'm going to get on Pinterest and figure out what to make for dinner. That's like one of my Sunday routines besides getting some laundry done is Pinterest. I love Pinterest. Okay, so this is the first product that I'm using. This is the cleanser and I do usually about one and a half pumps. It just depends how much makeup I have on. Okay, so this is what the product looks like. And I already squirted it on my hands but I'm gonna try and show you real fast. So the cool thing about this product is it's pump, like it's pumpless, like there's no pump. So you can scoop all of your product out. Like that's cool because you're not ever wasting any kind of product whatsoever. And this bottle is huge. If you see how big this bottle is, I've had this since February and I'm still not out. Like it's still full, so. Okay, so we're gonna massage it into our fingers and then we're gonna massage it into our face just straight dry face um, onto my makeup and we're going to massage it for, you know, a minute or less, just depending how much makeup you have on. And you're just going to see your makeup melt off. So I use the shape tape a lot and that's one concealer you cannot wipe off with a baby wipe. <laughs> I've tried it a few times when I've been just really, really lazy. I'll try and take a baby wipe and just wipe it off and no but this will actually like melt it off let me use a tiny bit more um this just seriously it just takes it right off so this is kind of like a um just kind of feels like a lotion it's not heavy it's not greasy and we're just lightly massaging you don't want to tug and pull like crazy underneath your eyes you always want to swipe up that way we're not breaking capillaries and causing dark circles and then I'm going to take a little bit of what's left on my finger and I'm going to wipe it onto my eyelid for any shadow that I have on there which is usually just bronzer and we're just going to kind of help melt that away you could do the same for your brows if you want. Probably just gonna leave my brows on today. Okay. You can see it's just like 
melt it off. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my washcloth and I'm just gonna go in and you can either lay this on your face and kind of press it in or you can just start wiping, which is what I do. Also, this can also be used as a mask. So if you have clean skin and you wanna apply that on and leave it on for a few minutes, then it can be used as a mask too, so. And you can just see, like it just wipes off. Gently around the eye, always lift up. And it's just super, super easy. Now, get that inner corner. Okay, so I do have lash extensions. So what I do, even if I were using a baby wipe, like if I had a lot of eye makeup on, I'd probably take it off with a baby wipe. But all I'm doing is wrapping my finger around the washcloth. I'm gonna close my eye and I'm just gonna lightly just wipe it away. And of course I'll go back and clean out my lashes or brush them a little bit. And you just want to get as close to the lash line as you can. I very rarely wear a ton of eyeshadow though just because I do have the lash extensions. I don't want to overdo it and cause buildup on them. So I usually just put one color in the crease. People ask me all the time how I take my shadow and stuff off with lash extensions and that's it. Like I just wrap my finger around it and then I just gently wipe. And now I'll just go back with, of course you can see the difference in my face and my neck, but that's okay. My face, most people's face always fades faster than what their body does. Okay, so now we're just going to give it a second to kind of dry a little bit. And while that's drying, I'm going to show you um, what other products I use. Okay, so this brand also has a hydrating eye cream. And so this is what I use underneath my eyes. I do really like this product because for one, you could see on the side how much you have left but you also don't need very much whatsoever. I use about that much, and then I just take it and I just kind of massage it lightly underneath my eyes. And we always just want to be very light and always just drag it up. And this helps with any dark circles. So I used to have like a lot of dark circles, and as you can see, like I just don't have much dark circles anymore, which is easier when I don't want to wear makeup and I want to just throw a BB cream on or, you know, a tinted moisturizer. I'm not having to worry about concealer under my eyes. And I just lightly pat that in. I have always, always been a huge skincare person. I love, love, love skincare. Okay, so I have the Skin Laundry this stuff <laughs> it's so worn out on the bottle but um I don't even know what it says to be honest but it's a restoring night cream but I just love the way it feels and it makes my skin feel so I just take about three pumps and it's a serum so I just take it and then I just massage it into my skin And some of these I'll use all at once, or some I will just use here and there. I'm going to apply a little bit of moisturizer. This is the Dr. Robux, no worries, Hydrating Face Moisturizer, Hyaluronic Acid, Macadamia Oil, and Vitamin E. All those nice, good things for your skin. Okay, right, so I'm just going to take that massage up.
this Milani. It's just keep it smooth. It's a hydrating lip mask. Looks like this. I apply it on my lips. I always apply something on my lips before bed as soon as I wake up in the morning. Just because hydrated lips are a must. Can't have no crusty lips. Okay, so I'm going to take my little brush now and I'm just going to comb through my lashes. Yes, my lashes are very long and very dramatic. <laughs> just the way I like them. Chelsea will be doing my lashes until the day I die. And I'm going to show you real quick. I'm going to show you a mask I use. So if I'm going to do a mask, I'll do either a sheet mask or I like this whipped mud mask by Josie Moran. It's argan hydrating and detoxifying treatment. So this is what it looks like. I actually have two of these because I love it so much. Okay, so there you go. It's that simple. Um, I don't know if people expect to have like this complicated, crazy skincare routine, but that is it. And I feel like, honestly, the biggest thing is this cleanser right here. Because beforehand, I've been sent for years. I've been sent all kinds of products and... I just, I never really kept up with a good skincare routine. Like, I was always baby wipes by your bed, just take it off that way. Well, that's not, I mean, obviously, I went to school for skin. Like, I know that's not the correct way to do it. You can tell me a hundred times and I'll tell you back. I know. But, I'm lazy sometimes. I'm honest, I'm truthful. That's just how it is, okay? So, this skincare product has just made it so much easier because it takes no time whatsoever. I can literally wet a wash rag, go sit in bed, massage my face with it, and then wipe it off and be done, you know? But it doesn't take very long. I don't have water running down my arms, and I think that's just, it's fast for me, and that's what helps. And it actually makes a difference on my skin. I'll show you guys the before and after of my skin. I've always had good skin because I get that genetics from my mom. I've never had Botox. Um, the only fillers I've had is in my lips and that's pretty much kind of faded out. But I have always been a big moisturizer person. Like I don't care if it's Olay, Neutrogena, whatever it is, I've always put moisturizer on my skin. So, um, and I'll switch between moisturizer. Here's another one that I absolutely love. I got a sample of it and I need to go get a bigger one because it's Origins, but it's Ginseng Energy Boosting Gel Moisturizer. So it smells like oranges and I absolutely love this stuff. Not just for the fact that it works, but it also just has that citrusy smell which just kind of brightens you up and just makes you feel good or at least for me <laughs> okay so i'm gonna go ahead and show you what i keep my stuff in so i got this at home goods and it just kind of spins looks like this i keep it on my bathroom counter and it's just really easy to grab different things i have some whipped argan oil in vanilla apricot which is one of my favorite scents. Um, so hand moisturizer. I have the Rodan Fields Lash Boost. I have Edible Beauty Deep Sea Collagen Serum. I have all kinds of stuff. I love beauty and skincare. Cleaning my lashes. I'll do the smallest, smallest dot of this baby lotion. Or lotion. You would think as many kids as I have, I'd know what the heck this is. It's very wash lotion so anyways I take the smallest bit of this and I will put it on that little brush I just showed you and I'll clean through them put water on them um but get them all cleaned up because if you don't clean your lashes gross shit builds up on them so make sure you know how to clean your lashes that's definitely key all right guys that is all that I have for you today I'm just going to go chill out and wait for Mila to wake up and do some house stuff so my Monday is not so crazy. Um, but yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. All links will be down below. 
So check it out. And let me know if you have any questions. And I'll see you next time. Bye.